Fishers High School, this is Mr. Albanetti here to talk to you about the PSAT Challenge. Sophomores, you're going to take the PSAT in late October, and you should have received a data card with some numbers on it. I want to explain what the numbers mean and just talk up this PSAT, get your mind ready for it. So let's talk for a little bit about this data card. You're going to see a document that looks like this. Teachers, if students don't have this um, document yet, could you pause the video and pass this out? Students, let me talk about the various sections. So first, your name. Just put your name there. Now, after you take the PSAT in, in about a month or a month and a half after the test, you're going to receive a data card with your name already pre-printed and your score already in it. Right now, you don't have scores yet, so just write your name in and write, you'll write in a goal score eventually. Here, you have last year's PSAT scores for last year's sophomores. Um, that was 1022 was the total. 508 uh, was the average in language arts. 514 in math. And there's a college and career benchmark that I wanted to list as well. This is the college and career benchmark for sophomores, a 910 total. So this benchmark is a score that the PSAT publishes and it indicates that students who reach this benchmark have a 75 percent chance of succeeding in college in their freshman year classes with at least an A or a B or a C. So students who are, me who are meeting this benchmark are setting themselves up to have at least a solid, if not a very successful, first year of college. So we want you to aim to achieve this benchmark. And as you can see, the average score for sophomores last year very much surpassed the benchmark. We want you to surpass the benchmark. So <clears throat> as far as a goal score is concerned, we're encouraging you to beat last year's sophomores. Um, so if you, if you, in fact, we're, we want to reward you if you beat last year's sophomores score. So if you are someone who did, does beat last year's sophomores score, we have a reward. Yes, Mr. Urban has said that any sophomores who, who do beat that score are going to get a free dessert. Now, it could be this dessert. Granted, this dessert cost $1,000 a piece and it's served in, in an exclusive restaurant in New York. So maybe the school can't afford to give every one of the sophomores one of these. But, you know, it's probably something more reasonable. But those do look delicious, don't they? Anyways, we want you to have a goal score that stretches you, that's realistic, but that stretches you. So set a goal for yourself. This data card also contains a back page. There's a lot in this back page, so let me pull out the spotlight again and explain the back page. Let's start over here, left side. We've got some SAT scores from various universities. One, the top one, Harvard. The rest of the universities are all in-state universities, from Purdue to Butler to Ball State to Notre Dame. These scores represent the 75th percentile scores for college freshmen entering these schools. So take Butler as an example. When seniors applied to Butler, they had an average SAT score. This 1340 is not the average score. What it is, is the score for students in the top three quarters of the class who entered into Butler, or rather who were accepted into Butler. Now, if, if you score below a 1340, you still have a shot to get into Butler, of course, but you wanna aim for this kind of score. You wanna aim for the 75th percentile score because that gives you a much better shot of getting into the school. Other side of the page, more information. Let's start here at the tippity top, right here. Uh, when you are a junior, you're going to retake the PSAT. And when you take it as a junior, you, you can qualify for scholarships just based on your PSAT score. Um, you're going to automatically be able to compete for the National Merit contest and students who have high enough scores become national merit finalists. There are over 50 colleges including Roll Tide Alabama, including K University of Kentucky, who offer full tuition scholarships 
to National Merit Finalist. Continuing down the page, we have the PSAT Mud Sock. This is last year. These are last year's scores. HSE tied with us. I'm not comfortable with that. We beat them a couple years ago, and then the years before that. I don't like them tying with us. So let's let's beat these. Let's let's beat their score this year. Um, now the the 1077 represents the juniors' score from last year. So the current seniors, when they were juniors last year, earned a 1077. The current juniors, when they were sophomores last year, earned a 1023. I know the front page says 1022. There's a, there's a rounding error. 1022, 1023. That's the average score. It's somewhere in between. So we're, we're looking for you to, to, to exceed that score as a class. Uh, class of uh, 2022, this is you all. This was your average pre-ACT score when you were freshmen last year. And then the, the, the current freshmen are going to take the, uh, the pre-ACT this year, the day you all take the PSAT. Anyways, sophomores of Fishers High School. I wish you the absolute best on the PSAT. Um, here's, the, here's the information about it. Here's your data card. And there's another good look at them cookies. They look tasty, don't they? Anyways, good luck on the PSAT, and I wish you all the best.